Shrouded official gameplay overview, let's see. Welcome back to Enshrouded. This is going to be our last video from the Gameplay Pillar series, so let's dive right into survival and exploration. As you begin your adventure in the world of Enshrouded, you will need to survive in the wilderness amidst the unknown. To do so, you will need to gather resources such as rocks, plants and logs, honing your crafting skills to create essential items for your daily endeavors. Your very first I can tell you uh, already, I'm not the flame, claiming your base not playing this one. The beginnings of your future castle. Well, it starts as a hut. Let's dream big. Venturing into the woodlands to gather logs might seem quite easy at first. You will need to chop down some trees, gather logs, but in the process, you must watch out for the lively wildlife. They won't be impressed by your bare fists. The best solution right now is to run away and craft yourself some basic gear, like a sturdy shield, trusty wooden club, and come back for some action. You can now defeat the wolves, gather experience, loot resources, and some raw food. Now, building a first basic shelter is the next important step for survival. Use a workbench to craft a construction hammer and some building blocks. If you want to learn more about building, I'm not a survival type of guy, guys. You can check out the I think you guys know that. The top right I can't do screen, it. Or find the link in the description down below. As we finish the construction of our very first cozy hut, in order to rest, we must make sure to craft a hmm, not so comfy bed from the workbench. You can place it inside, and after a hard days of work, a good night's sleep is in order. This will give you a rested buff. Now, the real adventure begins. Your first quest, finding the blacksmith. There is a bridge that would get us to the vault where we might find the blacksmith, but unfortunately, it's been destroyed. So we need to go through the fog in order to reach the other side. The shroud has engulfed all over the world and we only have limited time to survive within it until we die. So we have to resurface quickly enough before our time runs out. The remaining time can be seen on the new hot element below our compass. As you are in the shroud, keep an eye on the timer. Your protection against the fog won't last forever. Find the hourglass capsules to extend your exploration time and discover secrets hidden within the shroud. Yes, well, uh, As we pizza. Yes. Location, stealth is your ally when approaching enemy camps. You and you would buy a house that looks like that. But remember, one of the best ways is to sneak around. I, listen, it looks good. It's just not something I would play because I can't do survival game. Like I, you've conquered your. I can't. Gathered loot and gained experience. I suck. Our next step is to unlock the secrets of the ancient vault. And as a reward, we will be able to set the blacksmith free to join our ranks. HUD would enjoy this, maybe. And now teleport back to our cozy home by using the map and fast travel. After we teleport, it would be the perfect time to expand our house and make sure we have enough space for our NPCs and crafting stations. Now, we have to make sure to give the blacksmith a sheltered spot. By giving a roof over your blacksmith's head, you will be able to unlock more crafting recipes. Now, let's upgrade the armor. One of the very first armors that you will be able to unlock is the very fashionable fur armor. Let's go into the woods for some hunting. Hunting becomes an exhilarating challenge. Nothing screams adventure like wielding a bow. Sneak up on those speedy animals and aim for the head for the critical shots. As you kill the wildlife, you will be able to collect necessary resources, such as animal fur, raw food and bones. Uh, yeah, this game looks very, very good. Fire to unleash your culinary skills and cook up a feast of delicious foods. When you cook food, you have to be careful not to overcook it. Otherwise, you will be eating charcoal for days, which I can't imagine is good for you. This is just a basic way to prepare food while you're out on adventures. You will be able to cook more advanced recipes at home. Now, the perks. Check your status tab in the character menu to see what effects different types of food have on you. Dude, this is why I couldn't play it. Well rested, or if there are you gotta pay attention to too much stuff. Cold or poison, for example. Our next quest is to explore the elixir well. Let's use our glider to get there quickly. Now, as you've been leveling up through the game, you will be unlocking skill points to customize your character as you please. No restrictions here. Mix and match classes and dive into endless fun and remember, you can respect later, so feel free to experiment. Let's start with unlocking the evasion attack. 
Combining a glider approach towards your enemies with an evasion attack can be extremely helpful with not losing any momentum. This will let you unleash a devastating attack upon landing. As an example, you can take a high position by one of the elixir's walls, scout around to see where the enemies are, and once you are ready, drop in on them to unleash a devastating attack. I mean, that's cool. Very cool. Recreation? I don't know what that is. Those mysterious return beacons are your saving grace. Replenish your time in the shroud and revive next to one if the worst happens. Let's climb down and explore the depths of the elixir well. You would cheat in this game? Why? Daunting boss in the well. You don't need to. You can use different weapons such as swords, axes, and for range combat, bows, staffs, and wands. You're better off just using magic, bro. Okay, you could use wands. Oh, Pud would love this. This is Pud all day. Or sword awaits you. You could be a you could be a wizard, Harry. Well, it's uh, so you create your own base and everything in your house. Like, so he's going back home right now. With more experience and, and this is his house that he made. First of all, let's start with a and you can have killing. a wand. You will need coal in order to stop producing metal and cast spells. Now, let's set up the forge to grab metal sheets, which will allow. So it's survival mixed with Harry Potter. Armor. Unlimited skill points on more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh my God! Why? Mysterious world of Enshrouded. Thank you for it actually looks pretty good, man. Alright, I would try this. Subscribe to the channel, as well as comment in the section down below what you're looking forward to. We'll see you in the next one. I would definitely try this, but I don't know if I would like it. It looks pretty good. It just looks difficult, especially for me who can't seem to focus on anything. I like it. Looks good.